Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Swati here. This video is the part two in continuation with the handmade envelope part one. So today we'll be using Dress My Craft multi-purpose scoreboard. In the first part, we used Via Memory Keepers envelope punch board and today we'll be using Dress My Craft multi-purpose scoreboard. So this tool comes with an attachment that helps us to make envelope, envelope boxes and other gift boxes. You need to align it with the uh, scoreboard. You can see how I, how I have done it here so that it aligns diagonally. Now to make a normal envelope, you just need to see what card size you have and then what is the paper size you need for that card size. So here I'll be making an A2 size card and we need an 8 cross 8 inches paper size and we need to score at 3.5. The process is simple, you can see me do here. So now I've aligned my paper and then I will start scoring when my paper has aligned till 3.5 inches and I'll score it along the score line. Once I've scored on one side, I'll rotate the paper clockwise and then I'll align that notch coming out of the tool to my horizontal line that I had scored earlier and then I'll score again vertically and then I'll repeat the process for all the four sides. Once this is done, I'll cut the area that I'm marking at X using a pair of scissors. Now I'm using my bone folder and folding along those uh, scored lines. Once that is done, I'll use my dress my craft round corner punch and then I will round off all the four edges. Our envelope is ready now, we just need to stick the flaps. Using a double sided tape, I will stick both the flaps with the third one. Our uh, envelope is ready now. You can embellish and decorate the envelope more. I'm using a pattern paper here, so it's already looking very pretty. And that's how you make a normal envelope using Dress My Craft multi-purpose scoreboard. Now moving on to making your own gift box. The measurements are there with this tool. You need to have a paper size and there are the scoring lines where you need to score for making a box and the lid as well. So we'll be making a box that measures 3 cross 3 cross 1, 1 by 4 inches. For that, the measurements I'm writing down on the paper. This is the box size that we will be making. And we will be, we will be needing a paper size 8 cross 8 inches. And to make the box, we will be scoring at 1, 1 by 4 and 2, 1 by 2. For this, you need to align your paper and then start scoring both the score lines 1, 1 by 4 and 2, 1 by 2. And then we'll rotate our paper clockwise or anti clockwise, it doesn't matter. You have to score on all the four sides with the same measurements. I have lost some footage here where I am cutting the edges but when I'm making the lid you can see me do the process this is the same process to make the lid as well so now I'm just taping down those four flaps for us to make a box I'm sticking all those flaps to my box sides now and then these sides I'll invert. I'll use a, a double sided tape to stick the insides also. So 
So our box is ready now and now we are moving on to making the lid. For the lid we need the same paper size but we will be scoring at different uh, measurements. For the lid we will be scoring at 1 1 by 8 inch and 2 3 by 8 inches. The process for scoring remains the same as we did for the box. We will align the paper with the scoring board and uh, with those measurement we will start scoring our paper on all the four sides. Now to cut the side flaps, you can see how I am doing it here. After I'm done cutting the excess paper from all the four sides, I'll glue those four flaps for to, uh, to form a box. I'll be using some double sided tape and sticking all the sides. You can see me do the same on the video here. The process for making the lid and the paper box are same, you just need to score them at different measurements and that's it. So here I am securing all the four sides by sticking them. Our lid for the box is ready now. I am just giving it some final touches and the box looks beautiful. So you can use these paper boxes to keep your paper magnets or any other dimensional product that you make including jewellery or any other item. So let's review what all products we have made in both the videos using the via memory envelope punch board and dress my craft multi scoring board. We learn to make simple envelopes big and small using both the tools. We learn to make these beautiful dimensional gift boxes from both the tools. These can be made from both the tools. And then we also learn to make these beautiful gift boxes that can be made from the scoring board. I hope you have liked the video. Please watch the part 1 as well for me reviewing the envelope punch board from Via Memory Keepers. Like and comment on this video. Also, do subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials. See you in the next video. Bye.